people so let's get on into these shows for this week so let's go on and start at the beginning and work down we'll start with monday episode of basketball wives season seven episode two so we need to go on and discuss the new girls because doing um, my review for episode one, I didn't really discuss them because at that point, I didn't know yet if they were going to be relevant enough to discuss because, you know, sometimes they in introduce new people and they really don't show them enough to really know if you want to fool with them or not. So let me go on and tell y'all about these new girls because I'm sure most of y'all don't even know who Brian Scott is which is Mal Malaysia's cousin. If you didn't grow up watching A Different Bye. World in the Cosby Show, then I'm sure you don't know who Brian, Brian, uh, Brian Scott is. <laughs> so that's most of y'all. So let me go on and shed a little light on him for y'all, and I'm going to drop that tea right here. Now that y'all know who he is and who the new girls are, let me go on and get into this mess with Jennifer and Evelyn. <laughs> Jennifer and Evelyn. Let me repeat these heifers' names one more time. Jennifer and Evelyn, because they got me feeling some type of way early this morning through this weekday. Hmm. Got me up early this morning. The sun out bright. Y'all see my sun out bright. Because as soon as I woke up this morning, I had to come to y'all on this Tuesday morning and give y'all this tea. Evan ain't got nothing to say about nobody. She up here giggling and hitting and hawing to my girl. <laughs> girl at the gym. You know, they say CC um, be going around saying blah, blah, blah. And how she a whore. Evelyn, you known around the world to be a whore. How you gonna sit up there and talk about what they say about somebody else? Let's talk about what they say about you. <laughs> you a gold digger. You a whore. Jacket and said you're building a whore. And yet you concerned about what they saying about Cece and you trying to talk about her when you need to be cleaning up your own reputation. And Jennifer, I see you back being a uh, sack chasing lap dog up Evelyn butt. Shut your damn mouth. Have some business about yourself. Sometimes, oh, you remind me of Cynthia Bailey. Now, I, I'm sorry. That's an insult to Cynthia because she ain't that damn slow. She is not that shallow. So that was in, that was just an insult to her. Anyway, then they had a nerd to go have their little um, thing with Christian and say it to Christian. And they just sitting over there laughing and just uncontrollably just laughing and carrying on like it's so doggone funny and Jennifer big mouth over there telling what was said like she was there at the gym when Evelyn got all the tea um and she knew what happened now let Jennifer shut up if Evelyn want to start this gossip and this rumor let Evelyn tell it don't you be taking no weight for it with your dumb self that don't make sense don't be doing that that's just I can't believe you did that like have you not learned the show been on a million seasons and you ain't learned yet like why would you do that and then they just acting so high school and y'all see Christian one laugh, uh, wasn't laughing she hurry up and cleared exactly what it is that CC uh, do that she don't even be doing that and, um, you know, they, she told them what the purpose of what CC's business was and she wasn't doing it. But anyway, to me, they intentionally was trying to hurt her. And it's just not funny to me. They intentionally try to hurt someone or ruin somebody's reputation. A grown woman would have went to CC and said, you know, I know I don't know you, but around the gym, People are referring to you as blah, blah, blah. And I just wanted you to be aware. Something along that line. They wouldn't have been going around saying all the stuff that they said. And I just was real ill about that. But yeah. And then she going to try to say something about CC liking young dudes. Evelyn, you the wrong one to be t saying something about her liking young dudes. And I'm going to be honest with you. People like Evelyn that do stuff like, like that to me. Come off to me as just being jealous. Like or envious of the person. Are you jealous and envious because she had her own business and her own stuff going going on that she don't have to run around and try to trap a man um, by having babies by him? Is that your issue? Is that your problem? But anyway, then they meet up. Tammy ready to pick bones with Jennifer, 
But we'll get on to that in a minute. The ladies should have confronted Evelyn with Jennifer. They shouldn't have just picked Jennifer out and teamed up on her. They should have went after Evelyn because Evelyn is the one that started the rumor. Evelyn is the one that got all this into play. Jennifer wanted to just be an idiot and co-sign what Evelyn said and walk around and say it like, what did Tammy say? <laughs> Don't be the bone carrier. Like, basically like she ran. Like Tammy said, she shouldn't be carrying the bones. Let Evelyn carry her own bones. Let er uh, Evelyn do her own dirty work. Jennifer should have kept her mouth shut because now she in here getting um, told off about it. And then apparently, according to the previews, they still going to be going on about it. And where is Evelyn at? Not taking uh, the heat, not taking up for Jennifer. Letting Jennifer take the fall for herself. So it's a bunch of BS. Because they should have been all over Evelyn about it because she didn't want to start it. But anyway, this woman is an RN. She could be. She could lose her license behind this because the, the people that do give you your, medical, your license to be an RN, they don't play about stuff like this. They take this stuff real seriously. But Malaysia <laughs> wanted them to go off on Jennifer. They didn't want, they want um, them to let her off so lightly. But my thing is, is it, they need to go off on Evelyn. Don't let Ellen off light because she backpilling weaves her way out of everything. And Malaysia feeling that way about Jennifer, but I'm feeling that way about Ellen. And she the one that they need to be going in on. Real freaking talk. Like, go in on it and let have. Like, for real, for real. Anyway. Now. Let's get on Tammy and Evelyn. I'm going to tell y'all something because I don't think people are aware of this. But I'm going to point this out to y'all so y'all know and understand what's going on. Okay, so we saw last season that Evelyn and Tammy made up. Wasn't no beef. Everything was good. They was he he and ha ha back to talking about people together. Back to being cool. And the clique was all get together again. Let me tell you where things went left at. When they went to that comedy show and Tammy was up there dragging them and she started going in on Evelyn, that's where things went left at. Now Evelyn is sitting up there going in, uh, going in on Tammy, and Tammy don't like it. See, this is the thing I don't like about Tammy. She always talking about people, dragging people, but when they do it back to her, she can't take it. She get mad and she does it. I'm not your friend anymore, girl. We not cool anymore. Blah 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 blah. But now Tammy, you started this. Y'all called the truth. Y'all was done being mad. Y'all was done being petty. But then you hopped up on stage and started running around with this little comedy show. And you started dragging the ladies. And you, you think it's funny. It's funny to you. But it's not funny to everybody else when y'all talk, when, when you're talking about them. Because then when they're talking about you, you ready to fight. You done with everybody. You whining and crying. Don't dish what you can't take. It's, that, it's just that simple. Now you mad Vin to Reggie about some shit you done went and started. Then you mad because you was talking about Evelyn and Shawnee wasn't laughing. And you talking about that let you know whose side she picked. No, it didn't let, let you know shit. What it let you know was um, she wasn't laughing because she went through all this trouble to get y'all back talking. Because she focusing on coins. She trying to have a show and make business. She done went through all of this. Y'all back talking. Y'all back recording. Everything going good. Now, you want to get your bitter ass up there and go back to starting this same stuff. And go all the way back to the start of the drama. After y'all done made all of this progress. Y'all done got past. Let it go and moved on. Your ass still bitter. Going to get up on the stage. Knowing this going to get back to Evelyn. Because everybody's seen it, so you know it's going to be on the vlogs. You know, people going to be talking about it. You know, social media going to be talking about it. As a friend, if I was Shani, I would let Evelyn know before all the vlogs let her know. Because then she's going to be like, y'all was there. Why y'all didn't tell me? The same would be with you, Tammy. If Evelyn was up there doing it, you would want Shani and and Jiffin to tell you before, uh, you know, Shade room and ball alert tell you and cringe worthy and all that taste. So don't be sitting up there and act like you don't know and act like you wouldn't because it's bullshit. So anyway, I'm sitting up here thinking when I watched the comedy show, I didn't find a lot of jokes hilarious because I'm like, you really doing this? This some petty shit. It wasn't funny to me because I didn't watch the all the seasons of the show and I'm like, 
why out of all the humor you got, we watch your Bunny Chronicles. Out of all the good shit you say, do you want to get up here and drag them? Come and stand up is not for you. Stick to your Bunny Chronicles because they are great and they are hilarious. But what you guys did on stage, I just didn't find it appealing because it's just starting drama. And that's supposed to be your job and your coins. What you're trying to do is find your way off this show is what you're going to mess around and do. Because I feel like you do like a lot of reality people do. And you have that mentality to think that the show needs you. And honey, if you ain't learned by now, I guess you won't. Because a lot of these shows, they don't necessarily need you. But they, you know, because, you know, the fans, yeah, we do speak. But you can't yeah, get voted off. So, I mean... Tread lightly because you don't never know from one season to the next who's going to be popular, who we going to like, and who we not going to like. So you need to always remember that. Anyway, moving on. This this entire situation is still some high school BS. I feel like I'm watching Mean Girls and we done started all the way back over. I'm disappointed by this because I actually thought that y'all had grown past it. And then to see y'all still in the same place is just, you know, whatever. And I feel like the show has turned the entire group against Tammy because if she was talking about them the way that she was when they not there, imagine all the stuff she's going to say about them then. So that makes Tammy a person that they can't trust. Who can be a friend to somebody like that? You can't even say nothing to talk to Tammy because you don't know if your business is going to be become part of her act at her next show so you're not gonna fool with her like that you can't trust her so tammy you the one burning bridges so why you mad and taking down everybody else beats the heck out of me so now let's get on the jackie I would like to see Jackie have a civilized conversation that did not pertain to sex in her vagina. She needs to see if she can go with like two weeks without mentioning sex in any type of way, form, or making it a part of any kind of conversation because I'm kind of over it at this point. I'm just sick of it. It's not even funny any, anymore. And this episode, she was really irrelevant. So now let's get on to Evelyn and Shani at this radio interview when the radio host asked them if the, if someone was on fire, it was life or death, who would you call? I already knew Shani, Shani would say uh, Shaq. That was obvious because they were married. That was, you know, you know. But when Evelyn said um, Chad Ocho, I was not surprised because she was crazy about him. She ruined that man's career and to this day. I don't think he purposely headbutted her. I believe his story is something about it. He was reaching for keys in the floor and they was arguing and tussling over and they accidentally bumped heads. I believe that story over her story because she had already been boosting and going on on the show about what she would do to him and she caught him cheating and all that. And when she found some box of condoms or whatever, I feel like they was in there fighting and going on and she was trying to fight him because you know she always liked to lay hands and she knew him well enough to know that she could put, put paws on him and he wasn't going to hit her back. And I think they were scuffling over them keys like he said, and when they bent over, they bump heads, and I really, truly think that's what happened. But she already done told him, if you cheat on me, I'll ruin you. And she already knew he was a cheater, so for her to do that was a bunch of bullshit. So anyway, I believe she was true to her word, and she went to the media like he beat her, and she didn't. And I also know she got a whole thing full of eggs, and I feel like she wanted to try to have them eggs with him and use those eggs with him. And have her family with him. Obviously, he must be doing good for himself. Because you know she don't mess with nobody broke. She messed with somebody got it going on. So he must still be having it going on. And I would not be surprised to see him brought back on this show. And I think she owe him that much to bring him back on this show and fix what she done broke. And fix what she done messed up and re repair his image a little bit. And I would not be surprised or mad at her if she started back seeing and talking to her. And I think she owe him that much to fix and repair that. And in, in all honesty, it would be realistic because every day couples get into it they fight and they argue and then they make up so if they made up it it is what it is because people do it in real life every day so i wouldn't be mad at evelyn if she made up with ultra because shit happens 
It don't mean that they're a bad person. And I don't think that he would hit her again or jump on her again because I don't think he did it in the first place. I think I, they had a bad argument. Shit was heated. I think she think he hit her or, or whatever because she was upset. Like I said, shit was heated. But did he really do it or not? I don't really think that he did. Anyway, I wasn't there. Nobody else was there. They know what happened. And I think they should talk, make up, and get on about their business. He should be on the show as her, as her boyfriend. They should date. We should sit them together. And I think it would be interesting. Anyway, let's see what else. The embryos. <laughs> when that doctor going to say to Evelyn that, that, that she thought about do donating them embry embryos, <laughs> Evelyn looked at that woman like she said, bitch, you donate your embryos. I do not break, uh, blame Evelyn if she don't. I, I wouldn't donate my embryos. I wouldn't want a child out there that's part of me and the person I was in love with running around and we... It, it just the fact of knowing that that child is in existence, more than one of them is in, in existence, would not sit well with me. It would literally drive me crazy, and I would lose sleep over it and literally have a nervous breakdown. So for the doctor to suggest that, I think she was wrong for that because she didn't go in there with the intentions of doing that. There are a lot of people out here that donate eggs and sperm for that intention. They're prepared mentally for that. I don't think she should did, do that to Evelyn. That's something she's not mentally prepared for. That li literally would kill her. But in my opinion, um, she needed to throw the embryos away. I think with Carl, it was just another check anyway. Just another way to make money. I think she was trying to pull a Kim Zosiac and just confirm her another check. And that's just my opinion about it. But I do think she needs to just throw them away. And I heard in one of the gossip blogs, like I said, this is allegedly because it was heard on the gossip blog that he figured out what she was up to and that's why she got dumped. But like I said, all of this is allegedly, so I don't know if it's true. So anyway, that is all of my review for this show and I'm going to wrap this up. I thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next episode.